Hey, Ron's Bass Lessons here. Uh, it's a requested one. Uh, Keep on Smiling by Wet Willie. It's basically a blues um, with uh, sort of a 60s, 50s doo y feel, but uh, basically it's just pretty classic, repetitive, classic blues bass. So you're in G, and uh, the bass player on this one is mostly emphasizing the, the higher voicings of the chords. So he's taking the G on the fifth fret on the D string, and he's playing the two notes up here on the uh, on the seventh and the ninth, okay, which is going to be your D and your E. So it's uh, I'm, I'm sorry. At the beginning, it's so it's five notes: one, two, three, four, five, and then just nine, seven, nine. And that pattern's going to repeat for all three chords during the verses. So after it does the G. Um, during the singing, it does the G twice and it moves up one string, same frets to the D. And back down to the G. Um, so, then it goes G, D. to the C, two frets down, everything the same pattern wise. And to the G. So it's G, D, C, G. And an alternative voicing, especially during the chorus, instead of playing the high G, that's where sometimes he plays the low G. So that's the same frets as when you play the C, just up one string, okay? So, and then, and then he works his way back sometimes with a small climb, a couple of uh, variations on the, on the second part. Um, well, let, let me wait, I guess I'll wait till the chorus because that's where I mostly hear it. So, um, but if you do want to do it during the verse, you can, it's the same notes. Um, so then the chorus is the same chords and notes, but different rhythm and, and voicing. So on the chorus, it's... Okay, so that's the basic voicing, same exact frets as you played the, the verses, so you're hitting the G just once this time and letting it ring, and sliding up to the 9. And you can vary the notes, so the basic one is G, 9, 7, 9, 7, okay, but you can go. So any combination of those notes. So you can grab the, the 9 and the 7 on the bottom string, and you can grab the, the 9 especially up on the D string. Actually, you can even grab the 7 on the D string. So you can grab this whole box down here. You can play around with those notes as long as you stay in rhythm. And then, up, and then back to the D. Okay, so um, you'll you'll notice like like when I'm going from the D to the C, I take advantage of sort of walking down a little bit towards the C as I'm going. So it's like you know, because it's it's bringing our ear down to the next chord. You know, but you know, good just good bass passing tone practices, so, sorry, okay, and then, uh, so when you do the G in the low position, the second time you, you need to get back 
to start the start the phrase over from the top with the high G. So um, what I hear is you're walking back up from B, and you're walking the sort of the box back up to G. So you got three, seven, five, seven, and then back to that top note. And anything that works rhythmically within those, you know, within that area is gonna gonna be fine. But that's kind of what I hear going on. Um, the stops are, you know, it's just G. You know, like I think like eight times or something, and then the drums eventually beat in there and give you a count, but. There's nothing fancy going on with the stops. Just checking my notes real fast. I think that's all the parts. Um, yep. So uh, I do have it uh, transcribed. You know, I wrote it down on an index card or whatever, and um, I, I I showed the index card on the cover version of the song, which is also posted on the channel. So you know, feel free to. And if you need it, just just email me at the email address, boom boom the bass player at gmail. I'll be happy to send you copy of the image of my handwritten tab on the song so that's all the parts so have fun and uh, watch the cover if you if you want to play along we'll see you next time